Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. I get asked a lot about the shaders that I use and, and how I use them. Uh, so for a lot of my videos, including the, the weekly FPGA gaming videos, I use RetroArch. I love RetroArch. I think it's a great front end with lots of great cores. Um, and it's just it's just fantastic uh, before i got into fpga gaming most of my retro gaming was done via retroarch it has great features including run ahead that reduces latency but that's for another video what we're going to talk about today are bezels and shaders so what you're seeing on the side are some lovely bezels which are made by something called the bezel project uh, if you stick around to the end of the video i'll do a quick tutorial on how to get these set up and run it running very very easy very very simple and what you're looking at uh, at the center of the screen are actually shaders and this shader here is a shader called uh, mega bezels one of the presets within mega bezels they're a lot of fun they're really really good uh, and if you if you're enjoying what you're seeing here we'll go through a few games and we'll go through a few of the options that are available within retro arch uh, they're really really good and i really think you guys should try them out it definitely adds authenticity um, to the games when you're playing them it gives you that nostalgic nostalgic kick and it kind of feels like you're in the arcade sometimes if you've got uh you know a nice setup and this this can only complement it i'm i'm really really a big fan of these can't stress that enough uh, anyway without further ado uh, let's look at some games and get into today's video okay let's start this video by looking at super street fighter 2 turbo now as a general rule this is what looks best on youtube because youtube's compression uh, makes the shaders will look not so nice at the moment all we've got is bezels and we've got no shaders uh, showing at the moment and what we're going to do now let's have a look at our first shader okay so the first one we are looking at is part of the mega bezels and it's called smooth adv advanced glass i suppose i mean just look at it you've got a reflective screen it just looks well really really nice right next up again another one from mega bezels and this is just called smooth advance now i like this one because well it kind of looks like you know when you had those tvs and the sides were a little bit reflective you can see a little bit of reflection on the sides and the top and the bottom it's not overkill or anything it just it just looks good it works this might be the choice that you like using uh, i think like i like the one where it's um uh, the mirror is there and there's a lot more reflection but this is the one that i like using more uh, i think it's a really really good one um and it just yeah it just makes well super street fighter 2 look really really good okay so this one is known as advanced glass and it's it's similar to the first one that we saw but i, I think it's a little bit more transparent uh, i would recommend going through these and having a look for yourself uh let's have a look at one more from mega bezels so for our final one for the mega bezel ones uh, this one is just called well no reflection because there is no reflection so if you like your tv without reflections this might be the one for you uh, i think it looks really nice uh, and you know like i said the combination of the mega bezels uh, and the bezel project combining the two just it just looks really really nice now let me know if there's a compilation you can commercially buy that does or gives you better aesthetic than this uh yeah let's move on uh, to another game and another set of shaders okay there are quite a few of the song and shaders and this is the first one i'm not going to read out the exact names but they're all numbered i think there's 24 in total so this is the first one that you can pick have a look at it doesn't it look nice and the next one that we've seen is song again and it is uh, the second one down so after the first one we've moved on to the second and this is probably the one that i use in a lot of my videos so when i'm covering like the fpga gaming news especially for games that aren't out the game for games that have just been released i try and actually capture them like on the mister or the analog pocket but 
it fits for something that's upcoming i go into retro art and i just love using these shaders now again they may not look so good when you're watching this video on youtube but i strongly recommend you guys check these out for yourself So this one is the 20th shader on uh, the Sonken list. Again, it looks very similar to some of the other ones. Uh, actually, to be honest, I'm, I'm having difficulty telling the difference between um, this one and the previous one. But uh, yeah, they all look good. Okay, so this is the last one we are looking at for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. and. This is Sonken's filter number 24. Um, yeah, I really don't know. I guess I'm repeating myself like a parrot. You guys should definitely check these out. But I hope looking at these is, uh, you know, giving you some kind of inspiration to get shaders going. It was a long time I had RetroArch. I never played around or even messed around with shaders. And then once I started, I, I just went down this rabbit hole where I just kept trying and, and trying lots and lots uh my favorites are definitely mega bezels and sonkens but there are some other ones as well that i think are good and uh, we'll have a look at those next right a favorite game of mine growing up and i still like to return to this from uh, time to time very very much a fun game especially uh two players Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. Again, we're looking at it first of all without any shaders, just the bezels on the side. Let's move on and have a look at some shaders. So the first one we're looking at, the first shader we're looking at is just a CRT one within RetroArch. So this isn't one that I put in there. It's just one of the default ones that are in there. So like I said, play about with the options until you find one you like. Uh, and this is just a basic CRT one in there, but I think it looks quite good. And if you want to try something really horrible, try five times blur. This is what you get where you can hardly see anything. If you're seeing like this normally, you need some glasses. Okay, after looking at the blur one, this is pretty cool. This this kind of makes everything look cartoony. Uh, it just kind of gives you those vibranty kind of colors. So yeah, plenty to play around with. Uh, I kind of like this cartoony one. Makes it looks makes it look interesting. And another fun one to mess around with, uh, this one is motion blur, but <laughs> you get a blue streak after the characters. Uh, <laughs> it just looks, it kind of reminds me of, you know, when an arcade machine was damaged and nearly broken, and when your character moved, like there was a blur behind them on a really damaged screen. So if you want to check that out, this might be for you. So if you are here on this part of the video, it means you're interested in getting the bezels and the shaders up and running so let's start with the bezels uh head over to this link it's in the description of this video the bezel project uh and i'm using a windows version there i think you can get it on a pi there's other versions but windows is what i'm using it on and i everything i'm talking about is with windows um uh, in mind so go over here download the bezel project setup.exe now i always recommend you scan everything so do your due diligence i've scanned it it's all good it's clean i've been using this actually for a few years um once you go through the installation process there you go you you'll have it over here and pardon me i'm just going to move stuff from the bottom screen up to the top so you guys can see it uh try and keep my desktop nice and tidy for you guys so there's a whole bunch of information here i will let you read that in your own time uh it's too late and i'm too tired so i'm not going to read that and i think over here it just kind of tells you to set directories and choose your preferences so let's do that and let's bring this up here okay so what you want to do first of all if you go to preferences here we go i have I've configured it for MAME and I've also configured it for RetroArch. Now within RetroArch, when you when you go to select RetroArch, you you will select all the different cores or all different all the different emulators, the consoles that are within RetroArch. So I've already set my directories, but that's something uh, you have to start with. So go in there, set your preferences, put your directories there. So you can download um, uninstall or even update your bezel so after installing them i generally go for update but here you go so once you go through there let's just have a look at the retro arch one uh so we're going to download and it's okay enable okay if you can enable disable there's a few options here so it's very very easy to use but i know 
once I um, once I pick Retroarch, as you can see, there's all the different systems in here. Now, I'm not going to do an update now, but you can see over here, install the ones I haven't got installed. I haven't got Amstrad installed, but update or uninstall Atari 2600. So you can select them. I, I'm pretty sure you can select multiples as well. Here you go. You can select multiples and it will do them kind of one at a time. And that is pre pretty much it. Once you've got it and you've set your directory, you've given it the directory, it will, like for example, in RetroArch, it will put everything in, I think, the overlays folder. And for MAME, is it artwork? But it will sort it all out. The, the process is very, very streamlined. It's very, very easy. And once you let this process run, that's pretty much it. You are, you are good to go and you have the nice bezels that I've got. Uh, so next, let's have a look at the shaders how we can get those uh, working for us. Okay, guys, if you've followed the previous step, then you will have, uh, or you should have, uh, the bezel project up and running. So when you run a game, you'll get the nice bezels. So now what we're going to look at now is the shaders. So let's go into RetroArch first. First thing we want to look at, let's go into drivers and under video, let's have a look at the video options. Now by default on Windows, RetroArch is usually set to GL. Uh, the shaders, if you like the sunken shaders or the mega bezel shaders, they will not work with GL. They will work only with GL Core or Vulkan. Now Vulkan doesn't work for me. When I, when I set it to Vulkan, it breaks my retro arch my retro arch just crashes and then it refuses to launch so geo core is what i'm using and that's the option that is working for me so once you've done that make sure you go ahead and uh, save your configuration now by default retro arch sets it to when you quit retro arch it saves it on exit i've got that switched off but you can just go here save current configuration or save a new one if you like and here you go so we have uh, we have now saved that so we have got uh, the geo core options running now the next thing we want to check is let's go to online uh, updater. So once we click on that, there's, there's plenty of options in here. The one we want is at the very bottom uh, and we'll click that update slang shaders. So I just moved it up to get to the bottom pro trip pro pro tip shortcut anyway let's hit that and that's now updating our slang shaders now it's possible you may get the mega bezel shaders and the sunken shaders through this i'm not entirely sure uh because i've already got them installed so what i will do is um first i'm going to show you how to turn on uh, the shaders or turn them off we'll have a look at them in the menu by launching a game and if you haven't got the shaders there i'll show you the manual way of putting them on your machine and it's it's very very easy to do so so let's have a look at this game here 88 games okay so we've got it running now let's just go into it so i've got it it's loaded the last shader that i was using but let's just say for example you didn't have it on once you get into the quick menu just get into shaders uh we've got shaders on we can you know switch them on and off here so that's that's off vanilla let's just turn them back on and we can go into load and then we want to go into shaders slang and then over here we've got all the ones uh, that we've installed now i've got my mega bezel ones here um and it might be slightly different when you do it manually i can't remember i might I may, may have installed them uh, a slightly different way than the standard way but i'll show you the way to install them and the other ones that i installed were the sunken ones uh these are the two that i've done manually everything else you're seeing uh were already there in retro arch when i updated the the slang shaders so here's the sunken one so let's say for example we want to use a sunken one now you've got different options for your display uh, i'm using a 1080 display uh when i do most of my gaming so you you know we can just use one of these so let's hit that okay i think that's the one i was actually using so let's in instead try one of the mega bezel ones uh let's have a look okay so for me bezel mega bezel okay let's get into presets and let's have a look at this glass one now when you're using the mega bezel ones i think they're quite intensive so they're not going to run on a potato machine um but here you go it's it's on it's it's running that it, it will take a little bit of time uh, so don't worry just just hang tight a little bit only a few seconds and this is hopefully what you get so let's have a look now uh if we didn't get them like this let's look at the manual way of um getting these shaders into retroarch by just getting into the retroarch's directory but that's that's what we're going to look at next so let's go and do that so guys you're here because 
Retro Arch did not fetch Mega Bezels and Sonken's CR CRT shaders for you when you ran uh, the online updater. Not an issue, we can do it manually. It's very, very easy. Uh, so let's head over to this page. This is Mega Bezels GitHub page. We're gonna scroll down and here you go, Mega Bezels. We want to download this. If you look at the bottom of the page, I've already downloaded them. I've downloaded this one and I've downloaded uh, Sunken's CRT shaders as well. Now, this one takes you over to a media file link. Again, I have downloaded those. So let's go and check out our downloads. Here we are. Okay, so I've scanned these already, but make sure you scan everything you get from the internet. So let's just extract both of these. Extract files. Here we go. Okay. And let's extract Sunken's ones too. Okay, once extracted, let's just get rid of the zips for some, uh, I guess, clean housekeeping. Let's open our RetroArch installation folder. And what we want to do over here is we want to go over to shaders. And we want to go over to shaders slang. And once we're here, all we need to do, let's go into mega bezels. Yep. And this folder here, we just need to copy it into, well, this folder here. I've already got it. It might ask me. Oh, it didn't actually. Okay, good, good. And Sonken's one. Here we go. Okay, and that's it. Now you've added those into your RetroArch shaders folder. Next time you launch up uh, RetroArch, you should see these in the shaders menu in the list like I did. And that's pretty much it. So guys, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you like the combination of the bezels and the shaders. Let me know in the comments below which ones you like, which ones you dislike, and what are your thoughts on shaders in general. I hope you found the little tutorial uh, helpful. If you want in-depth tutorials, there's actually quite a few on YouTube. I know a friend of the channel, Retro Crisis, he's done quite a few in-depth ones. He's got a very, very good voice and he's very, very easy to follow. I'll leave a link to his channel and a couple of tutorials in the description of this video um so yeah guys that's it definitely play around with bezels and shaders have fun and uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel then a, a subscription and a like is super appreciated and guys i'll see you around in the next video pixel cherry ninja out